Hey guys, if you have an Oklahoma Joe's offset smoker, then you might not know it, but you have a pretty solid pizza oven that's capable of making restaurant quality pizza. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cook perfect homemade pizza on the Oklahoma Joe's offset smoker so that it's crispy, delicious, and a little bit smoky. So how do we turn our Oklahoma Joe's into a pizza oven? One of the challenges with cooking good pizza on any smoker is that most of them are designed for low and slow cooking. They're just not made to get up to the 450 degree plus temperatures you need to make perfect pizza. Now there are exceptions. For example, Kamado style smokers and pellet grills can get quite high in the temperature range, but for smokers like the Oklahoma Joe's, you're lucky if you can get above 350 during normal operation. The Oklahoma Joe's is an offset smoker. That means all the heat is designed to come out of the firebox and indirectly cook whatever's in the main cooking chamber. The result is that the temperature in the main cooking chamber is much lower than in the firebox. So for cooking pizza, we need to move the heat source from the firebox into the main cooking chamber and set it up for direct heat cooking. This will help us get to the cooking temperatures of 500 degrees or higher that we need to make awesome pizza. Start by placing the smaller grates at the bottom of the Oklahoma Joe's main cooking chamber so you have something to pour your charcoals on. You should always use some kind of grate because the charcoal needs airflow underneath it and putting the coals directly in contact with the metal can cause the finishing on the smoker to peel or cause the metal to weaken over time. Build a nice bed of coals and spread them around so you have about a third of the main cooking chamber covered with coals. Then place the cooking grates over top and let it come up to temperature. With the amount of coals I used, I was able to get temperatures of around 450 to 500 for the entire cook. You may be able to get it higher, but I'd be careful not to go too much over 500 because it can be detrimental to the smoker. It's important to understand that the temperature gauge at the very top of the cooking chamber usually reads at a much lower temperature than the temperature at the level of the coals, and even the level of the cooking grates. So if your temperature gauge is reading at 600 degrees Fahrenheit, then those coals are at a way higher temperature, and that can be dangerous for your smoker. Now that we're set up for direct cooking, you'll want to put your pizza stone at grill level to let it come up to temperature. The pizza stone is important to evenly cook the pizza crust and make it super crispy, so make sure you pick one up if you don't have one. I put some recommended pizza stones in the description section below this video, so check those out if you need to get one. Usually it's a good idea to heat a pizza stone up gradually because putting it over direct heat when it's cold can cause it to crack. One thing you could do is you could put the pizza stone on the cold side of the cooking chamber for about 15 minutes to let it come up to temperature gradually and then move it over to the coals. You can also gradually bring it up to temperature using the oven if you want to do it that way. Now that your pizza stone is heating up, it's time to prep your pizza. You can use whatever kind of pizza dough you want, but for this cook me and my friend made it from scratch and left it covered to rise for a few hours. The recipe is in the description section below if you want to check it out. We then prepped our pizza board by putting some flour down and then stretched the pizza in a rectangle over it. You can make it in any shape you want, we just did a rectangle because that was the shape of our pizza board that we were going to be serving it on. For sauce, I like a good spicy barbecue chicken pizza, so we laid down some barbecue sauce, cooked chicken, hot peppers, and cheese. Make sure you're not putting too much sauce down because it can make the pizza kind of soggy. Less is often more when it comes to this style of thin crust pizza. Before you put the pizza in the smoker, put down some semolina flour on the pizza stone. This is a coarse grain flour that makes it much easier to remove the pizza from the stone when it's done. I'll put it in the description section below if you need to order some. Now carefully transfer your pizza onto the pizza stone. You need to be really careful at this stage because it's really easy to dump your whole pizza onto the coals accidentally, and if that happens you're going to ruin your pizza party real quick. It helps to also use semolina flour on your pizza board or pizza peel so it makes it easier to transfer onto the stone. Now close the lid and cook your pizza for about 10 to 15 minutes. You're looking for all the cheese to be melted and bubbly on top, and the crust should be crispy but still have a bit of softness in the center of it. You can test the crust by putting a metal spatula under it and lifting it up a little bit. You shouldn't wait until the pizza is stiff as a board, but when it starts getting pretty crispy and browned on the underside, then it's probably done. This is a bit of an experience thing and you'll get better at knowing when to take the pizza off the more you cook. After you take your pizza off the Oklahoma Joe's, let it rest for a few minutes so you don't burn your mouth with molten cheese lava. Then cut it up and serve. Well, I hope you found this video helpful guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button and leave a comment below if you have any stories about using your Oklahoma Joe's as a pizza oven. Thanks again and happy smoking.